at least my take of it, is uh, Kathy Catazzaro Perry uh, really does have a problem with uh, Mayor Ciccinelli. Uh, what's oh, your, she sure does. What, what's your, I mean, and I've written that I think she's gearing up to run for you should you seek, against you, should you seek another uh, term. Uh, what's your uh, perspective on that? Well, you, your independent agrees with you. They sort of planted that seed in an editorial, and that's why I was upset when I when I told her. You know, part of the responsibility of being an office holder is, ha again, having vision, having... When, when we voted, when we tried to get a $5 license fee increase here four years ago, we told council, and she was a member of it, that eventually the county would do it. You have to have some foresight. So there was $10 out right. there. If they would have done it when we asked That's them to do right. it, we would be getting $7.50 of the $10 to pave our streets, all right? Because the county passed it. The county's given, getting $7.50 of the $10, and those dollars are going to the townships and going to the county to resurface streets and do street projects. So you have to have a little bit of foresight. So I took council to task on that. I'm going to continue to take them to task because they need to understand, yes, I can't vote, but it's the dialogue. And I really didn't take them to task. I just gave them an example. They're the first to want things done in their ward. Well, you need money to do these projects. They don't. The money doesn't grow on trees to do these projects. And that meant a considerable amount of dollars, about $150,000 for the $5. That's what it got for the city. If we had those dollars, we could do a lot more things with the streets. Well, she had upset. And then after, she, after I made the comment, she said, I'm tired of you bringing that up. I said, I'm sorry, but that's, I'm going to continue to bring it up because that's part of this thing here. But going back... But then that's when, they read, wrote, that's when they wrote the editorial, that, that I was upset because she, she could, be the, could be the mayor's upset because she's going to... She can run for whatever she wants to. My, my, off, my decision to run for mayor in, in 2011, and then the paper goes, they're gonna, she's going to run against Chickenelli in 2010. Well, that's okay. The election's not till 2011. <laughs> so I, I, I told her, I said, they can run for, you mean, those kind of things after a while. I don't, those things don't phase me. But getting back But to she could be running for mayor, but it doesn't matter to me. Do I think she, I mean, come on. I don't think she's really qualified yet, but... I'm not anti Kathy. I'm just not as a person. Oh, well, she says you are anti Kathy. She says that well, she you supported your, her opponent uh, first time out for her. Oh, you mean as, 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 as a in, council in, person? Yeah. Well, let, let me. First time out? No, no. So Was the, the last, second? The last time out. Last I'll time tell you out? the truth. Yeah. I, su I did support Mr. Walrouse, yeah, but I support, what does that mean? I want just fundraiser. I mean, but she's the one that made it personal. She's the one that had a $250. she tell you this, when I ran against Brian in the primary the previous year, or in the, in the, in the primary last mm -hmm. year, she had a $250 a ticket fundraiser at her home. Oh. Well, she raised money for Brian. Mr. Brian and her appeared on her website standing on a roadway that neither of them had anything really to do other than, than saying they wanted this 27th Street widened. It was my administration that worked with District 19, which is basically Stark County, to get infrastructure money through Issue 2. That, we worked together with that board. We submitted it four or five times before we got it funded. And that's great. Now, that, now the three, the $300,000 or whatever it was, $340,000 that we had to come up with a local share, I had to come up with a local share. She's the one that said on the floor of council, she commended me for it at that time. But when she came, when she said that she was going, when she said publicly that she was going to support Tim Bryan, well, do you think I'm going to not take that as a, a slap in my face? So you're darn right. You're darn right. And you got to remember, as you well know, when, when elected officials, they have families too. So my wife was very much upset. But we supported Kathy. Go on her website. I can go on her website and show you that in her first time she ran for council, I, prior to her even running, I called her. What happened was I saw we we haven't won, we didn't win that ward in 60 years. That third ward of Maslin, which is sort of mixed, it's sort of a 50-50 deal. Never was a, in my lifetime ever served by uh, through a Democrat. It's always been a Republican in that ward. I saw where, and that ward has changed because as the city grew in the northeast end, we took in some areas that were Perry School District. I knew she was a Perry Township girl. She born and raised out there. She was educated out in Perry's local schools. But as the city grows, as you all know, city annexes, school districts don't change. They stay the same. The city just takes it over, but it's not 
it stays within those school districts. So I saw that she, she and her husband bought a house, and I said, she'd be perfect, because I knew she ran for trustee. And that got a little controversial for you. Do you remember that with the same name? They had right. two cats. I remember that. Okay. Well, I remember that. I didn't really know the details, but I called her. I called her and said, hey, you know, I don't know who you, I don't know you, but I understand you just purchased a home in the city. Would you ever consider running for council? She said, you know, funny you say that. You know, and she mentioned she had talked to Johnny, and I, I said, well, that's great. I'd like to meet with you. So she came in, and we talked. We had a great time. So I supported her, her my wife and her. And my wife and I went to her first fundraiser. We supported her 100% like we're supposed to. And then she, then she decides to, I don't know what she, what she, all of a sudden she took a liking to Tim. And, and you, know, you can support who you want to support. But be, be a little bit more discreet. I mean, don't, don't come out after and make comments. And she was telling people, she was campaigning. She called a councilman. She'll never, ever admit this. But she calls a councilman like three, four weeks before the and says, are you going to support Chicken Elliot or Brian? And, and, and he goes, oh, I'm not support the mayor. I'm going to continue to support him. Oh, he's like the devil. You don't want to support him. He's terrible. He's mean to me. Here, here she is criticizing me. And this gets back to you, calling me the devil of all things, you know? Evil. I'm evil. Well, just because I disagree with her at that time, you know, you're talking, she's been on council, what now? This is her third term. So the, the previous four or five years, it wasn't always that way. She created the environment for whatever reason, whoever she's listening to, you know, I listen, my responsibility are to 33,000 people. I don't, nobody controls the way I think or controls the way I vote. And I've always been that way. I'm a firm believer in that, in our, in our democratic republic that we live in. That's what all representative government's all about. You represent your constituents. Well, she, she just what she said about the $5 license fee, she was representing her constituents. Okay, but then she turns around and now supports a, a developer that wants to rezone land in her ward, right, right. which the people are in, the, in that area are opposed to. Well, you should represent, you should be consistent in your thinking. 